welcome back everybody so there is our police station almost needs another window there I wonder what's behind was oh, that the stairway I think that's the stairs going up yeah so you really can't I could put one there but it almost wants one there we'll ignore that for now so I think when I left off I was trying to figure out how to put the armory in the training area up. Now my initial thought was to go in from that side. But after re-looking at things, I have decided I want to go this way. So we can knock out a wall right here. And that takes us, yeah, so that takes us this way. So I just need to chop down this tree. And then we can just lay the, uh, the floor out. Get rid of this cobblestone. That's going to be replaced by uh, andesite and stone. So we'll have a hallway going down this way. Where is my axe? You would think I'd be prepared. I forgot my axe. Let me go find my axe and get rid of this tree. So now that I've got rid of that tree and I can actually get rid of this dirt here. Oh, I should pick up this because it's... Um... There we go. Well, inventory is full. Don't you know it? I haven't even started in my inventory as well. It's, so now we've got all this cleared out. We're going to stretch the building out this way. So this will be a little hallway through here. So the wall will actually go like that. push the wall out this way and then this will be my little like a not a walkway but well maybe a walkway a little tunnel going out here so that can be training area over there and this will be so this will actually go that way so that'll be the hallway my only decision is if I want to leave how the heck I've got a spawnable area in there someplace I just uh, don't know about it you can't get through the carpet I wonder where he spawned from do I have my hood oops what was that okay that took a little bit. I think I've got my light level. Well, maybe I don't. Oh, let's see. There we go. I'm using the mini HUD, and it's a little different than the light overlay mod that I'm used to. So you'll forgive me for not knowing what button is the bush. There, okay. So we'll all lit up out. Ooh. There are. Oh no, that's not okay. That's dirt. I thought that was a little red X boxes. I, I kind of like the other one with the yellow X's. So there's nothing over there. Um, let's get rid of you. Do you see a spot? Is that it? Did he spawn right here? Oh no, there's a spot over here because I was... I forgot. Oh, and I don't have... I forgot to put that light there. I'm sure it's that one. I don't think he can spawn on this little ledge there. 
I don't think so. Now I need to put a roof on this sucker. I think what I want to do is do this polished granite like this. I can't go up much more in the block. Can't believe if I do this, it's going to block that window. Even if I do, even if I do what I'm thinking of doing. You know, if I put a block on top of here, it's going to block that window. I have a, yeah, I'm going to have to do this. And then See, that's going to be spawnable, so I'm going to need some kind of roofing material, which is carpeting. So some type of carpeting is going to go on top of here. And I guess here. I got that rough peak there because what we're doing, this is going straight into the building. So now the the armory is going to be right here. And then there'll be a road that runs right over to there. Um, I'll have to figure out what to put over in this spot. But I did want you know a second way in. You know, so if you're straight to the armory or you can gather your troops here, arm them, and then go out into the city if you need to. But that means that this building is going to probably go out like here and then over like this. So that will be the end of the hallway going this way. I like to put some lighting in here. Let's take a look at that roof from over here. Oh, it's so flat. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I can't do anything about it. Yeah, because if I push it up like I want to, it's going to take out these windows and this yeah this is the window into the interrogation chamber so it runs down that hallway I guess I could get away without a window there let's see what this looks like or actually better yet let's do this if I'm going to take out the windows might as well take them out for good that yeah unfortunately that is a much better roof so I finished up the roof took out those windows I'll have to go on the inside maybe I'll put transom windows across the top there it is a hallway so transoms might work So this is the actual armory. So I had to go with a round tower. It's not going to be super tall. It's not going to be as tall as this building. So it's going to be a couple stories, just taller than that. It's going to be, you know, sort of short and squat. And I'm also going with the nether brick. Not fully nether brick. I'm going to mix it in with 
some of these uh, bricks and granite and stuff. The same stuff in that building, but I want this one to have a predominantly darker you know, look to it. Let's get rid of those. This is something like this. I'll still put like two doors here. Well, Yeah, I may actually do a whole brick road all the way out that way. And I think I'm going to stick with stone and andesite for the floor. Because that seems to work. And though I think I'm actually going to go with a circular pattern. So I'm going to do the andesite around the edges. And then do a ring of stone, ring of andesite, ring of stone. Just to break it up and make it look a little different. Then this uh, layer would be stone. And then we go with another section of andesite. I think this was that right now. Stone would go here. Like that. And that gives you the gist of what I'm going for. So I think the best thing to do now would be to hop into a time lapse. So I can finish uh, building the rest of this. So that would like that, yeah. So let's uh, hop into the time lapse. And when we come back, we will just go through the interior. Um, it should be probably just two stories tall, so there won't be much to uh, decorate. But really, it's just an armory and then a training ground out here. I need to figure out how I want to do that because I think I'm going to need some uh, archery, like targets and stuff through here, and then a few armor stands for like sword practice. goes the time lapse so I've got the building built so as soon as we come in the front door here I wanted to make it a little more secure so kind of make a not an earlock but a, a two door process so I'll have an outer door and then an inner door so you can't just break through the outer door and get into everything since it is an armory we are going to want it to be a bit more secure so I'm just going to build a simple little, let's use the yeah, fence around here, simple little enclosure. I'm not going to have like a security guard or anything here. It's just going to be just one extra step. And that looks awful dark. So I want to put these, um, what are those called? Iron bars on top here. I, I think I'll leave the ceiling open like that. 
But yeah, that looks looks better. The iron bars so no one can climb over and get in. I also need a crafting bench, so we'll do that. Maybe where we want to put it. We'll put the crafting bench over here. And then I can get started with actually putting all the arms, you know, the weapons and stuff in here. I was on my way back in and realized that I needed something on the walls here. Ha ha, you die. Oh, whoops, creeper. Do not like the creeper. That definitely tells me I need to light things up. I'm going to have to do a spot check. Okay, I don't see anyone. Oh, there's another one. Oh, get out of the doorway, maybe. Just in case someone's sneaking up behind me. I uh, don't see... Don't see any other ones. Yeah, and all these yellow X's tell me that definitely need to uh, light things up. I switched back to my uh, light overlay with the little yellow X's. I like it better than the green or red or yellow letters, numbers. Just my preference. Neither one I think is better than the other. So if we start over here, I need a shooting range. So my way of fixing the lighting is just going to be putting um, these lanterns and a little bit of brown carpeting so it kind of looks like it's dirt. And then these trap doors will be used for just the, the supports for my targets. And at this end, we'll make a shooting stand, I guess, um, I don't know what that's called, this will be the shooter's area. So they'll stand on this carpet right here, and that's where they're going to aim their targets. And next, where is... Oh, I need some, I need some wood for this next part. Um, until I get that, I, I, I need some wood so I can make a stand to hold my bows and stuff, but I'll go get that in a little bit. Until then, I'm just going to put some, uh, target dummies, I'm calling them. So these will be, you know, kind of like you see where you practice sword fighting against and that kind of stuff. And then at this end, we're going to have another set of, uh, targets so we can have more arrows so people on either end are practicing their shooting like a shooting range luckily uh, unlike a real shooting range uh, you don't have to worry about the bullets going through the windows these are minecraft arrows they're not going to go anywhere this one will be way back here we we'll just put another light in the floor right about here i guess hopefully that'll light things up well almost light things up so we're another target range here. Um, let's see. It's um, yeah, I can just put a light with a carpet on it here, and we'll just put more carpets and lights. Just kind of sprinkle them around. I guess incorporate the ground carpeting into the pathway. Because I've kind of got two distinct, I've got the distinct pathway coming out of the building and I've got one going to each of the targeting areas. Which is the coarse dirt. And everything else is the gravel. So I think I've got everything lit. Now on the inside, I'm going to have all my uh, armor stands. So they'll hold all, like the riot gear and the armor. All the stuff that the officers need once they uh, have to go out into public and defend things or do whatever they need to do. And I also noticed up here, I have this flagpole, but I need to put a flag on it. Ooh, got a little bit of lighting down here. It's, we'll put carpet on top of that, I guess. And then I want to stick this torch on top 
which means I gotta pull the carpet out again, put some scaffolding up. Okay, up, up, up. We'll put up a little higher. Jump there. So we'll put the torch on top, and then I'm just gonna put a banner facing each direction. Like that. Then we just need to carpet that. So I don't have any creepers dropping down my head. I don't see any other spots. And then I guess next I just need to finish up the inside. Set up all the armor and uh, weapons and stuff. And we should be about done. Oh, it looks like, yeah, I'm going to need to light, not light, but cover this up too. Because that is going to be a bad, a bad thing. Once I start getting, it's going to be creepers. Creepers always spawn up here and drop on top of your head. So I'll just need to get some more carpeting and fill up all of these spots. So this was looking a little flat because that was all nether brick. So I kind of cut out a little hole there and put in some iron bars. And I think that really uh, helps the front because it was looking funny. Just that little touch. So to finish this place off, I have gone through here. I'm putting all the, uh, got the riot gear out. I've got some just normal armor. A couple hazmat suits because you never know. And then I put the uh, all the armory weapons on the walls, extra you know clothing here and there, lots of weapons, got a few arrows stashed away. Oh I got a couple there, so got this barrel here with a couple swords in it, so I can just uh, put those up there. Then we got all the uh, the police swords up here. So this is pretty full armory. They've got most of the weapons they need. I just haven't put any crossbows and stuff. But as I find them, I'll just come through here and put them on the walls and stuff. And to keep this place secure, I'm just going to put some iron doors there. Some iron doors here. And some iron doors here. Um, should probably close that off. I, I'll leave it for now. And this leads around here into the booking area. And I could actually. Um, is there an easy way? If I put it this way. Um, I couldn't. Put it this way it hangs out. I could go like halfway. So if I do the doors here, then I can get away with a couple switches there. But those switches look ugly. They like really stick out. And those don't work. So we're just not going to put doors in the hallway. Not until I figure out a better way to do it. I don't want pressure plates because they need to be controlled. And I, I, I could put one button or switch on the wall and rent the redstone down below, but I just don't want to do that right now. Plus, that would get into the jail, and it would interfere with the way the jail looks down there. You see, you got the lighting all through here. I think everything else is done. It did come out a little asymmetrical in my circular building but that gives it character and then if you come out here into the courtyard uh, I'm not gonna put you doors there but this is all the training area so you got the training sparring dummies where you can you know get the, you know spar against them and break them break it you fix it and then over here we have uh, the target range. So we got a couple targets here. 
more sparring dummies and extra uniforms, I guess, across this area. And then over here we have a, another uh, target range here with the some bows and stuff and then some extra arrows. And then I put the, uh, went around all the sides and did this iron bars. And I think that really helps it. So that finishes up. So we have the police stations done. The armory is done. The training area here is done. So I think we're done over in this part. So we'll have to move on to, uh, my problem is once you go out, you can't lock yourself out. Which I think is a good thing, I guess. You don't want to lock yourself out. Supposedly there would be police officers in there to close the door behind you. So that finishes up the build for today. I want to thank you all uh, for watching. And I will catch you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.